Welcome to the Phoenix Network. Today we're broadcasting from Chelsea's AC and Brake Emporium, 6042 North Black Canyon Highway, just above Bethany. It's a great place, and I have the honor, indeed the pleasure, of introducing the one, the only, Jeff Chandler. Jeff, welcome to the show. Well, thank you very much, Dean. I appreciate the, op the opportunity to be here. Great. So, we're going to be talking about Chelsea's here in a bit, but first, everybody wants to know about Jeff. Tell us about Jeff. You're not an Arizona, from the accent, I'm going to guess you're not an Arizona native. No, Gene, I'm not. I came from Massachusetts, born in Boston back in 64. Grew up with my dad in the automotive industry, moved out here basically in fifth grade, where lived out the rest of the time here in Phoenix. Absolutely awesome, fantastic city. Love it here. What brought your parents out here in, in you know? Uh, the normal, my dad had arthritis. It was easier for the heat back then. Okay. They say it's a dry heat. Yeah. And, and you know, health is one of the major reasons that, that some people move here. Absolutely. Here. Correct, it is. We discussed my reasons for ending up being in Phoenix. But we won't get into But we can't talk about that on the radio now, can we? Well, we should. <laughs> and so, bottom line is, now, were you always in the automotive industry? For the most part, yes. I mean, I've done other things. I played in the music industry when I was younger, had a good time, really? put shows on. Yeah. Tell us about that. Um, I used to book and promote rock and roll bands across the West Coast. Um, put on different shows, different venues, had a lot of fun. I could take a park and basically look at it, build the stage, bring the sound in, and invite the entire city. It's a good time. Do that on a Saturday afternoon, people enjoyed it. Okay, and so did you just burn out on that career? Or? Not really, I just, uh, it was more that I really, really enjoy cars, so I wanted to get back into working on cars, so I just basically, I went through a different time period, tried to do something different, but the love of the automotive industry brought me back. Okay, that, see, that sounds like a, a bit of a leap, going from... Well, not really, when you think about it, rock and roll and cars have always gone together. Well, this is true, this is true, but didn't you tell me there was a period where you were in theater or studying drama was, or something? I did play in the, in the theater, absolutely correct. But then the whole world's a stage anyway. We're nothing more than merely actors. And all the players, that's correct. <laughs> absolutely. So what, what, kind of, what kind of plays were you in? Um, I did a couple of musicals. I've done drama. Um, I did, well, let's see, we played in Greece. Uh, I played, what was that character's name? Duty. It was a lot of fun when I was younger. <laughs> okay, I just had a disturbing vision of you. In the, in the <laughs> Don't go there, Gene. <laughs> I'm, afraid to, I'm afraid to venture further. So, you got into automotive work. What, what finally kicked you into going into automotive Believe work? it or not, at the time, I was working on the acting career, and this is funny. You know the routine, girlfriend gets pregnant, got to get a real job, and uh, you got to feed them. Why do you got to feed kids? <laughs> to not go to jail. Ah, that's what it is. Anyway, long story short, yeah, I had to get a real job, so I got back into the automotive industry where I could have a solid, basically a solid background and provide for the family. Okay, and you've been in automotive, the automotive industry now for how long? Wow, almost 40 years, a little bit over. Wow. Started in the bottom and came up. Okay. So Full-blown ASC certified master tech, can also run a business, understand profit and loss. Okay. But now, with Chelsea's AC and Brake Emporium, you tend to, uh, you can do all the work, right? Absolutely. But you tend to specialize in air conditioning and brakes. We specialize in, actually no, there's a little bit more to it than that. We do specialize in air conditioning, we specialize in brakes, drivability, and emissions. Okay. We also do fabrication, stereos, alarms, tires, wheels. Basically, we were a one-stop shop, the neighborhood shop. Okay. And what made you pick this location? Oh, wow. Um, actually, um, I just fell in love with it. It's located right off the freeway. Uh, you can see the signage on the freeway at the intersections at I-17 and Bethany Home, or driving down the 17 between Glendale and Bethany Home. Yeah, and, and of course, getting off at Bethany from the north side, as you're coming south, you can just get off the exit and literally turn right in here. Absolutely. You are correct, Gene. Or, a little bit safer, what you can do is come down off of Glendale, hop on the front of road instead of getting right on the 17, take it straight down. We are the last shop on the right-hand side, right after the apartment complex. Gray right. building, blue stripe coming from the, the north side, but as soon as you turn the corner, you'll see that it turns to red. Yes, indeed, and I've noticed that several times when I've been here. <laughs> Now, that brings us to the name. Ah, okay. the name. First of all, when, when, when I first 
came across the name when I first saw the name from, you know, I, I, I told you, I, I, somebody mentioned it to me, mentioned you. I don't know who it was anymore. But then I, you know, I did do a little, I looked you up to see if I could make sure that I had the number correct. And it was Chelsea as in Chelsea, as in C-H-E-L-S-E-A. No, it's... And then when I got here, it was Dudley. And we had that conversation. Where did you come up with a name like Chelsea's? Well, I wanted to do something different. So basically, to keep it in the family, I named it after my dog. I've had this Chow Alaskan Malamute for 15 years. Um, very beautiful, awesome dog, and she deserved it. And it was catchy. Chelsea's is an awesome name. Yeah, it, it is. It's, no, but you said you had her for 15 years. I've had years. her for about 15 years, okay. yes. And Chelsea's no longer with us. No, unfortunately, I had to put her down about three months ago. That's, that's too bad. But 15 years. But her legacy lives on. Home. Yes, it is, but it's amazing what you can do when you love them. If yeah. you love an animal, they will live and live and live and live. That's true. It is that's very true. true. All they need is purpose. And you know, a lot of people are very deep dog lovers. Uh, mm, some, so some are less so. But what, what strikes me about it is that you love this dog long enough and hard enough that you actually named a business out of it and created a legacy for your Malmute Chow. Correct. Okay. Tell us about that mix, that, that interbreeding. Malmutes are um, pretty... They're tough pretty dogs. intense dogs, and yeah. so are Chows, but they also have a lot of love and ad admiration in them. They're fantastic family dogs, very devoted. Um, the 15 years we were together, she loved everyone she came in contact with, and everybody loved her. She was an awesome dog, great personality. Now, did you bring Chelsea back from Alaska, or have you? No, uh, <laughs> actually, I woke up 15 years ago. My daughter had brought her back from California. At the time, I'd had another golden. His name was Max, and he was sitting outside my daughter's door, barking and scraping at the door. And I looked at my wife, and I said, "Okay, what kind of dog?" <laughs> and she's like, "Uh huh." I said, "Look," and Max is going nuts, and that's how I met uh, Chelsea. She was about oh, maybe six inches long, completely black, and two white dots or brown dots on her eyes. Uh -huh. Then she grew up, she had brown booties. It's like she wore socks and they were brown and she had the two brown dots on her eyes. The rest of her was all black. Beautiful dog, very, very kind, and very loving. Was it love at first sight? You're damn Chelsea? right it was. Yeah. <laughs> How can you not? And, and Chelsea used to go everywhere with you, right? Absolutely, absolutely. Just like the dog we have now, his name is Purple. We have another golden. He's a purebred golden retriever. He's been with me now for eight years. Now, see, there's an interesting name. Purple is an interesting <laughs> name for a golden retriever. Yeah, but you got to be interesting. you got to be different to stand out in this world. You don't want to blend in. This is true. Absolutely. And that's basically where a lot of that came from. Purple yeah. is very unique. No one would ever think of it. Most people, and, and, and no and, one ever forgets it. And purple is a male. Yes, he is. Okay. Absolutely. So you've got a male dog named Purple. About the size of a Shetland pony. And you named your auto repair shop after Chelsea. Cal Malmute. Yes. Chelsea. And you do pretty much everything. Do you have any specials going on? Absolutely. Actually, we do, Gene. Okay. Um, at the present time, we do a free checkout, which we've always done. That means no matter what the issue is, whether it's an AC repair, a brake check, or a check engine light, come on down. We check it out. The initial inspection is done at absolutely no charge. After that, we get fantastic deals, as well as whatever we're doing, we can also offer a 10% discount. Perfect. And you'll find that we go to the end of the planet for our customers. We also offer multiple different ideas on financing. We never quit. We do whatever it takes to help the customer out. Perfect. And you're on social media, correct? Absolutely we are. We are a five-star company. So what's the, what are your social media handles? We, um, the uh, Facebook is Chelsea's AC and Brake Emporium. We also have a website, Chelsea's underscore AC and Brake 17 at yahoo.com. And then there's Chelsea's AC and Brake .com for the webpage. Okay. Are you on Twitter? Yes, we are. We have a Twitter account. It's... Um, the ad symbol, and then Chelsea's. Okay, and LinkedIn? Yes, we do. We're also on LinkedIn Alignable. Yes, Gene. LinkedIn Alignable, um, Google, Facebook. Um, Twitter? Twitter, um, Craigslist. I believe we're on Instagram as well, yes. And your phone number? 
242-1253. We are open Monday through Friday from 7.30 to 6. If you need us on the weekends, we are always available. Give us a shout and we will be here to help you. Perfect. We are located at 6042 North Black Canyon Highway, downtown beautiful Phoenix, Arizona, at the corner basically of I-17 and Bethany home. We are located on the west side of the 17, in between Glendale and Bethany, 50 yards from Bethany home. Jeff, an honor having you, man. Thank you for having us, Gene. It's an been honor having you having tremendous. Us. <laughs> Absolutely.